Hello everyone. I am here on my back porch. I have a special guest with me. Actually, I have several special guests with me today, but one of them is with me right this moment, and I would like you guys to see who it is. It's Louie! Nope, just kidding. It's Marcus! He's back. And he's back and ready to make some videos. He wants to do some ghost stuff. So he's going to start putting ghost stuff on his channel. And, you know, here and there we'll, we'll just do our vlogs and our ghost stuff together. Right, buddy? Yeah. Are you excited to be living in Florida? Yes. All right. I'm excited. I was so happy when they showed up. Yay. So everybody else is sleeping. Um, Angie's here somewhere. I don't think she's sleeping. I have another special guest, which is Tyler's best friend from Maryland. His name's Jimmy, and Jimmy has an amazing story. So hopefully he's leaving. He's leaving this evening to fly back home because he drove the U the U-Haul down for my daughter. So I hope that I get this interview with him, and it's it's exciting. You guys are gonna really really be amazed at what this guy's been through. And he's alive to tell about it. So I can't wait for him. He's, he's sleeping. He took a nap. We got up early and then he went back to bed. So I can't wait for you to meet him. Okay, I'm here with Jimmy and he's going to tell his story of what happened to him. Hey, Jimmy. Hello. Um, I was up in, my name's James Valentine. Um, I was working up in Pittsburgh. I had a life-changing accident. Um, I had a chainsaw come back into my neck. Right here, let's see. The tree, the tree was around the power lines, and um, the crane, the crane guy tried to lift it before it was ready, and it shot back and kicked off of here and went into my neck two inches deep. And um, since then, it's been about two and a half years now. Since then, um, I got all my movement back. I can move around real good. Um, really changed my life. It makes you really think. Um, everybody that you have and everybody you know it's uh, really emotional but um it's definitely glad to be here um still be able to move it got a better job now um definitely like a blessing in disguise kind of kind of thing um i wouldn't be where i'm at today definitely uh, oh you could be dead yeah yeah it was really close there was um biggest police that's police escort in Pittsburgh to take me to the hospital to have surgery, trauma surgery. And um, they took me in. I had 27 staples, uh, 30 stitches on the inside and outside. Um, now I'm, I'm staying in Pittsburgh now. I stayed there after the accident and I'm gonna be there for a while. Um, Let's talk about um, when you had to come down out of that tree. Uh, when I, <clears throat> whenever the accident happened, I was thir I was about 25 feet up in the air, and um, the cut shot back. I was tied off up top by the crane, and um, tied off, went into my neck. So I grabbed the chainsaw with this arm, got the tree with this arm, and skipped, shimmed down the tree like that with the chainsaw in my neck. The guy got on the crane truck and helped me get down about the last 10 feet. And there was four guys there, one on my back, one side up back against me, one in the front, one hold the chainsaw, and the other guy sat there and talking to me so I didn't pass out. And um, cops came, shot to the hospital, and then uh, so I was awake the whole, I was awake the whole entire time. Holy crap. None of the doctors could believe that. Um, in the hospital for three days. So you carried, you you held yeah, that chainsaw yeah. coming down out of the tree. Yeah, yeah. I and then when saw. you got down, did they take the chainsaw body off they of the They took the, they the took motor? the blade off of the um, off chainsaw the, part. Okay. Yeah, they took the. But they kept the, bar the blade in it. your neck. Yeah, took the kept the blade in my neck all the way to the hospital. The guy the paramedic was standing there holding it as he was sitting there talking to me. Um, I remember everything he was saying, asking about. It's crazy. Yeah, asking about my family, um, everything that's going on. Uh, he's he actually got a hold of me after about 
four months after the accident to see how I was doing, and um, I never did get to go back and meet him yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to it soon. Um, wow, so he's the paramedic that, oh, that helped yeah. you. Yeah, he's, he tried uh, to talk to you and keep you calm. Yeah. It's not, I think you stayed calm, though. Did you yeah. stay calm? Yeah, really calm. Yeah, I wasn't um, crying, flipping out, nothing. The only time I, I started crying whenever I woke up in the hospital with my mom and my sister standing right there. Probably because they were crying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, wow, really, I got cold chills. Yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh. Something. Yeah, and the worst part is my mom, she was, uh, she was, I had the vehicle at work and the other vehicle we had was broke down. So here she had to jump on the bus and go through rush hour on a bus sitting knowing that I'm in the hospital oh with a chainsaw God. accident. Yeah, and she had no idea. They wouldn't tell her if that was okay, if I was still alive or nothing. They just said, get to the hospital as soon as you can. Wow. And um, so here she is on the bus. The bus was taking forever, so she jumped off the bus real quick and got into an Uber, or a taxi then, and um, she shot to the hospital, and they finally told her everything that happened. and. I was still in surgery and she had to stand there for about three hours until oh I was out of surgery before she knew anything. That's but, crazy. Yeah. I'm glad you're all right. Yeah, me too. That is totally crazy. crazy. It's something. So you're doing good now? Yep, yeah, doing really good now. Got a, um, got a house and got a motorcycle. People say I'm crazy. A murder cycle. <laughs> yeah, my daddy called them murder cycles. Yeah, getting already close to dying with the chainsaw and then I got a bike, but yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, you better be careful on yeah. that. That's you just have crazy. You just have to keep your eye on the road. You have to watch out for everybody else. Yeah, that's true. Way. You do have to watch out for everybody else. That's what it is. If you're a good driver, you, you're good, but you always got to look for other people. Yeah. That's so it got your think. shoulder too, huh? Mm -hmm. Right here? Yeah, but it shot in. off. But it went inside of his neck. Yep. Yeah, that's went in. crazy. If um, there's a and it's still there's painful. a couple of X-rays online um, on YouTube. If you look up James Valentine chainsaw accident, there's a bunch of videos you can look up. Oh wow! Yeah, they'll yeah, have to the, look them uh, up. The X-ray is pretty wild looking. Uh, the X-ray like is the, wild looking. Yeah, it looks like you the can chain see the chainsaw in your. Yes, I know that was crazy. Pretty wild. And, wow. Um, yeah, but everything, everything's going good now. I got all the motion back. Yeah, the, the bad part is... Look how positive is, he is, guys. He's so positive <laughs> about this. He could be dead. Yeah, yeah, the, just touching it like this kind of hurts. But if I, even if I push on it, it's really weird because I push on it and it doesn't hurt as much. But it hurts just at the soft it, touch. Yeah. yeah, if you just brush it, it really, really hurts. Wow. And um, other than that, though, I got, it's pretty good. Um, my, I have my own business now that I install uh, shutters and shutters and window covering shades, and um, it's a uh, so I'm really thankful that I'm able to do that. Yeah. Be able to lift up like that because I have to reach up to the window, mm. and um, it's really good that I'm able, really good that I'm able to do that because that was a it's a nice job. Yeah. Uh, so you re rethought your whole life, yeah. which is good. Yeah. Which is really good. So yeah. check out his story on um, YouTube. YouTube. At, where is yeah. it? Um, James Valentine, Chainsaw Accident. Okay, check Pittsburgh. that out. This is Tyler's best friend from Maryland. Actually, yeah. you lived in, you lived in Pitt, Maryland? Yeah, yeah. Maryland. Yeah. yeah, me and Tyler grew up together. And I moved to Pittsburgh, he moved to Florida. It's been a year since we've seen each other. He started crying whenever I saw him. Aw, <laughs> When he saw cool. me. <laughs> so you got we get one day, but he's gonna come back and visit. Yep. Good to see everybody. Well thank you, you for your story, Jimmy. Yep. Appreciate that. And I'm yep. sure my yep. fans are gonna love it. You'll have to check cool. out the channel and yeah, check out definitely. all the comments and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there and look at everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, so that was Jimmy's story. Check him out on YouTube. Check out his videos. He's here, he's alive, and you know, it could be worse. He could be dead right now. And he's alive. Yes. And no, doing really don't, good don't, for himself. Don't, don't take life for granted. Definitely. Don't, don't know when you'll be here, if you're going to be here tomorrow. That's right. Live every day like it's your last, but not. don't be stupid at it. There you go. That's good. <laughs> All right. Peace, guys. Love you. See you. This is Florida for you. One minute it's sunny, the next minute it's raining. There's my air conditioner that don't work. I want to keep that air conditioner in there's Angie, she's here.
We're going to make some videos together and get her channel started. Green Eyed Angel. Check her out on YouTube. She ain't got nothing yet, but she's yeah. going to get something yeah, on there. Be on camera. All right. Peace. American Airlines. Jimmy's leaving. Hi, guys. Bye. <laughs> yeah. See ya. There's the buddies. Have a safe trip. Bye, Jimmy. He's leaving us.